Um, at seven o'clock, we'll call the meeting to order. Is there any public comment for items not on the agenda or additions or changes to the agenda? All right, hearing none, um, I would make a motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters for one VSA 313A3. I'll second Thanks. that. Okay, let's vote. Rose? Aye. I'm an aye. Sharon? Aye. Cliff? Aye. Okay, thank you, Oracle. We'll let you back in when we're ready to come out of executive session. Greetings, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming on another Monday night. <laughs> Happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, all right, so we were in executive session and we are now out of executive session and we have nothing to report. Um, Cliff, did you have a motion you'd like to make? Um, yes, thank you for asking, Denise. I uh, would like to make a motion that the select board uh, formally reappoint Alfred Larrabee to his current position of road commissioner. Okay, I'll second that. Any discussion? Okay, you're ready to vote. Rose? Aye. I'm an aye. Sharon? Aye. Hi. All right. Very good. Um, Judy, thanks for joining us in case we have any questions about the warning. It was a good thing we had Jim look at that. Yeah, it of got, course. It that, got a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the warning didn't change that much, but he added the whole, um, the he cha completely changed and created the agenda that yeah. included the warning in the public information hearing and he created and he suggested having all that voter information and have the three documents uh, posted everywhere together. Yeah, I think I guess that probably makes sense. Yeah, and he said, yeah, and he said, um, he's doing he's that gonna... in all his towns. So what do you want to call that up? Yeah, there's a few versions in there. So I want to make sure I get the right one open. Yeah, and the only thing we need to do um, there was a few things that we found that we corrected today, just little things. Plus we added the Zoom information. Well, yeah, I think the very latest Katie emailed. I don't know if it's in the uh, Google Docs or not. I did put it in the shared town meeting folder and it has today's date on it, 118 and Judy's initials. And I put it as a PDF and as a Word document. And you added signature lines. That's right. Right. And Denise, you found out that we actually have to have all the signatures. Yeah, which makes, I guess they probably forgot about that when they were doing all this legislation. So um, per our normal protocol, we're gonna all have to sign the warning. So you'll, Judy, can you, if we, we'll have to look at it, but if we approve it tonight, can you print it off and leave it on the table for everybody to stop by and sign? Sure, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um... I don't see one. You said you dated it um, 118, Katie? Yeah, I put it in just after. I see one you, oh no, that was. It has REV on it. Let's see. It's called election documents, all in caps. Oh, okay, I see it, yep, okay. There it is. Okay, because I was looking at the ones that labeled warning. Okay, let me close that one and get the correct one open. When Jim created the document, he put all three documents in one big document. And every time I tried to change it, the formatting. So it's been a little challenging. Oh, Thank, no. you, Kate. Thank you, Katie, for helping out. Okay, yeah, this is the right one because I see where you've got the signature lines in there. So let me go ahead and share it. Okay, can everyone see that? Yep. So the warning is, is the warning that's there on the screen is the warning that we originally approved. Uh, he changed some of 
he took out some things and created that whole separate informational hearing. Right. Um, it's pretty much similar. It's it's really similar. Yeah. Yeah, because the the warned items are still the same. Absolutely the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was just the okay. intro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the signature lines. And I put the 18th as the date of approval since there were some changes. Right. And there's oh and that, still that 500 huge. keeps popping out there for some reason. Um, <laughs> it's, being it's being difficult. <laughs> It's it not. Probably, it probably looks fine in the Word version. It's just something that's happening. Okay, because I, I've. It doesn't look that way when I send it off. Yep, I'm, it's a translation from Word to Google Docs. Okay. And the signature lines. Right. Right, and this is the notice to voters. I did change a couple things that he had because we. For example, he had written that people can vote in the town office before March 2nd, which according to COVID, with COVID regulations, they can't, they have to have it mailed or sometimes we make arrangements to drop it off in the mudroom for people, a ballot, mm -hmm. um, but that was not correct under the ways to vote. Yeah. And he had us have an exit checklist, which we don't We don't have, have to do. Right. We don't have to do that anymore, right? We don't. We, well, I think you voted or anyways or the yep. town previous town clerk did away with them yeah should that be clerk's apostrophe s clerk's office e yes yes I, I prefer to actually have the whole thing say the town office because it's really not my office um so if we're going to change it yeah i like um, town, the office. town office yeah i agree yeah I'll do it here, Judy, and then it'll be there to remind you you can do it in your master document. Okay, clerks. Um, do we want to do the same thing then on under ways to vote your early ballot? Say town office instead of town yeah. office? Yeah. This is the way. Um, so yeah, we Jim, could just Jim created this document. Um, yeah, we could just we could just go through. Yeah, you can uh, just do that. I mean, I'm not yeah. sure you folks have to actually approve and vote on this. This is kind of just a procedure document, but it's a good catch to change these things. Yeah. So but we can leave that to you to fix. Yeah, I can change these. We're gonna have this in the in the in the uh, town report, and it will also be posted everywhere on the website in the three lodge, in the three regular places. So I'll go through and change all those town clerks to town office. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Multiple points. Yeah. We can do a search and find. Exactly. Okay. Um, what page? Now what page? Are we, okay. We got more. Yep. Oh, that's right. Because we got the Zoom invite that you put together today. And just so you know, there's another COVID change and that is that electronic ballots used to only go to military and they can also go to disabled people now. Oh, so huh. okay. um, I changed it on this document. Good to know. That saves people from having to go to somebody's house. JP's right. going to somebody's house. So they don't have to deliver it. Right, no, or, or be in contact, yeah. Yeah. Oops, and that notice and agenda yeah it's just yeah, yeah it's, it's just, just a little bit of formatting, formatting. And, and it may once again that may be the shift to a google oh, doc from word yeah right and unbeknownst to me i can't believe i missed it but he had february 1st it's february 20th yeah that was a good catch yeah barbara caught that i can't believe i didn't see it but yeah. well you know sometimes after you look at something you know for 50 times yeah, you just don't see it anymore right so we added cliffs um zoom information Yep, that will be all over the place. Um, this is what we want to call the meeting, correct? Because that's how I have it listed. Informa in public informational hearing. Meeting. I think it's a meeting, not a hearing, right? No, it, it's a hearing. That's what. That's what Jim said. Well, that's what Will Senning said, and I believe okay. that's what Jim put at the top. Okay. We okay. don't want anybody catching us on some little technicality. <laughs> Now, here's a question for maybe Cliff. Barbara wanted to do away with all the other dial locations. 
and just have New York so that people don't get confused, but potentially there could be somebody come dialing in from somewhere else. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Um, okay. What you could do though, is you could just leave the New York line, take these others out, but leave this find your local number link in there. Oh. So if they are somewhere else, they can click on that and it would give them the closest number. Okay. Or there. maybe we could just highlight the, the New York one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought about that too, actually. I was like, well, do we really need all this in there? It could be confusing. Uh, but I thought, you know what, for here and now, I'll just put the whole thing in. Okay. I send every, but yeah, I had the same thought. You could delete all of these others, just leave the New York number there and leave this line in it. Okay. It might be, it might be less confusing to do that. It, it is a little confusing to people who aren't used to doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. You could even change it, Judy, to say uh, dial in, to dial in and then just list the number. Don't say New York or anything. Yeah, because that's confusing too. Yeah, just dial in number. Right. Okay. And then um, if you have problems with this number, click right. on this link to find your local number. Okay. Okay. Yeah, anything to streamline it. Yeah. And that. And okay. I don't know how many people would use the one tap mobile. I don't even know what that is. If you join the meeting from your iPhone and you pull this invitation up, theoretically, you can just tap on those links and it would dial you into the meeting automatically. Via DC or Chicago? Hmm. Yep. Or I guess you don't get, oh, okay. So, hmm. Okay, well, I guess we just leave that for sophisticated um, users. Rose, Rose, when you join our meetings, I I just do. tap on that. I tap on the blue thing okay. on the join says, Zoom meeting. Yeah, join Zoom meeting. I tap on that. Yep. Okay. So you, so you I, don't use you don't use the mobile thing. So I would say no. to take it out, Judy. You sure? Yeah. If, okay. if they can connect to the meeting using that link, that's yeah. that's all they need. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that really will streamline it for you. Yeah, yeah. It, it does look like a lot of gobbledygook. I mean, it's kind of intimidating for people who aren't used to doing it. Exactly. Yeah, and then we and then we can remove this insert information on how voters will connect. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've, I've seen people change this too. They'll say, you know, to join from your computer, click on this link. To join by phone, dial this number. Oh, that would be clearer too. Yeah, you can streamline it quite a bit. Yeah, you know, what I might do is streamline it and have you just look at it, Cliff, to make sure I'm not I'm doing it right. Sure. Be happy to. Okay. Okay, up. I get it. And then this is just it's the Should we have the date? I mean discussed. it's discussed. Well, it says agenda. Should we say agenda for do we say agenda for informational as the second hearing. Page. hearing? Because there's a lot of gobbledygook in between the agenda and the Zooms. You know, there's the Zoom stuff is all in between the real agenda. That's why. I, that's why when I do the select board agendas, I put the Zoom stuff at the end. Ah, right. Well, let's see. So it would go. I can just say put put um, Zoom stuff at end. Yeah. Yeah. And you might okay. want to also you might want to when we do town meeting in person, people come in and they take a card and we know who's there, right? Who's there in person? Mm -hmm. So do we want to say like we do on the select board agenda? And this might be a cliff question that in order to, to be admitted to the meeting via your computer, you will need to sign in using your name. Do we want to say that like we put on the select board agendas? Or doesn't it matter? We don't want to make it so that people have to say who they are. Because somebody can wander into town meeting in person and not pick up a card to vote. I'm just thinking out loud a little bit. All right. Well, 
nobody is going to be voting at this informational hearing and it is open to the public. Um, I guess we're taking minutes, so we may. We could ask want people to, to state list. their name when they ask a question or make a comment publicly. Well, that's what we do when we're meeting in person. We ask people to identify themselves. Right. But we don't necessarily have to have them identify themselves when they log into the meeting, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it just as as the you know the moderator would just have to remind them, please state your name. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to go over this with with Gus or whoever's if you're going to co-moderate it with him. Yeah, we'll have to have Gus at a meeting, upcoming meeting closer to town meeting yeah i'm actually imagining we may need to do a a practice run that would be a good idea <clears throat> okay I'll, I'll make those changes okay okay and basically the agenda is just a reiteration of the warning correct judy uh minus the um candidates right and if, right the candidates, if there's any competition, there could be a candidate forum, but otherwise mm -hmm. they would not be, that would not be discussed at this meeting. Yep. Yep. Right. What does this say? Please test your, oh, please test your software before the meeting to ensure. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, I, I think I, I don't think I need to bring this back to you. I think I understand what, how to yep. edit it and it'll be fine. And really, our main focus is the warning anyways. Right. All right. So I would make a motion to approve the warning for town meeting March 2nd, 2021, dated um, January 18th. Is there a second? I'll second. OK, is there any further comments or discussion? All right, you ready to vote, Rose? Aye. I'm an aye. Sharon? Aye. Cliff? Aye. Okay. Thank you, Judy. You've been on top of this. You've done a great, amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we just have to get figure out how to mail ballots. I don't know yeah. if you've made any progress on that, but. Oh, boy. <laughs> we have to yeah. coordinate with the school board and five other, four other towns, so that's right. not easy. No. It's like mm. herding cats. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You can stay if you want. Okay. I, I may um, tootle off. Okay. Judy, um, looks like uh, Katie made a, a chat comment to everyone. I don't know if you saw that or not, but the, there's a line about inserting the Zoom information into it. Yeah. I raised that when Katie brought it up. Yeah. I'll okay. delete it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Katie. Select board reports. Okay, let me shift gears and open that and put it up for everyone. Okay, hopefully everyone's seen that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you make it a little bit bigger? It looks like Sharon's made some last minute comments. Okay. Give me a sec here, I gotta move stuff around. Better? That's better, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm okay with those. Katie, can you go in and um, accept changes as we go along or do you want to do it later? I can, I'm still in it. Okay, perfect.
Okay, I'm good with the changes in the first paragraph. Okay. And the second? Um, yep. Works for me. What I guess what's I guess I don't I can't what I can't I I for some reason with the scrolling cliff I'm not able to accept where you actually are. Okay. Um we can just agree if we're okay with the changes and then you can you know we can accept them afterwards and make any other edits we need to. Right. Um since you're already in it. Um, doing it as suggestions, I'll leave it to you to make the edits if we make additional changes as we go through this. Okay, so that you, works. So you don't like my seize the opportunity? I didn't like that either. <laughs> I thought it sounded like we, we rushed in and took the bull by the horns. Well, it's you, we did, but we did it immediately, which is immediately implemented new policies and procedures seize the opportunity sounds like we did seize an opportunity around the El elder grants yeah right that's a seizing the opportunity all we did is you know really step up and do our jobs mm -hmm. on that um and also it's really long so i was looking for how can we tighten it up okay so i'm, I'm okay with those changes on that paragraph Yep. That's why one person writes it and everybody else fixes it. You did a good job. I thought it was just too long. So it's I'm glad long. to see. It's yeah, long. I thought it's too long everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Denise, it's great because, you know, this is a good team. You have so much in your head and this process allows you to just download it and not worry. Step away. Yep. And I'm, no, I'm glad somebody's looking at it with fresh eyes. That's very helpful. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm glad you, I don't know if you really feel that way, but this, this job is, is a good one for me. Like, okay, we can tighten this up. We can. Yeah. I'm good I, with all the changes so far. Okay. Yeah. Same here. I took out blessed. I felt like you were getting carried away <laughs> i mean we are blessed but we've said so much about it that it just seemed like that was a, something we could but i think we are um maybe we don't want to say blessed maybe we use a different word but um i mean i think we mm. want really has stepped up as a whole how about we are proud of our state and town that um, took the challenge serious, proud of the state in our town, our state in our town that took the challenge seriously and blah, blah. Yeah, that's good. I, I just want to recognize people that, people in town who have really taken it seriously. And when you see them out, they're wearing a mask or you see them at Maple Corner store, they're wearing a mask. I think just a little bit of recognition for everybody. If you want to make it less wordy, you could just change it. We are fortunate. Yeah. Instead of saying we are proud, to say we are fortunate to live in a state. No, that didn't work. Is it giving you heartburn, Sharon? Not yet. Okay, that works. Okay, um, town hall. And you eliminated the passive voice there. Thank you, Sharon. You can always count on me for that. <laughs> the select board maybe. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I was in law school with a guy that I would say it's passive and he'd have eight different ways of writing a passive sentence. He could never ever get out of it. <laughs> Still passive. Use an I, thought you, I thought there was someplace else further down in the document that talked about maybe the painting of the town hall. And I thought 
it should go under the town hall thing. And then maybe there was another time where we were talking about COVID again, and it could go under the COVID thing. So the- Okay, well, let's look for those when we get down yeah. there. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. Yep, that's good. In formal text like this, you would normally spell out percent rather than using the symbol. That's all that is. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And then blueberry, cherry, what kind of pie? Oh no, gotta be lemon meringue. Okay. Peach. Apple. <laughs> oh, that's boring, Rose. <laughs> Dutch apple with a crumb topping. Rhubarb. Well, there you go. Um, Bebop and rebop, rhubarb pie. I took out animal control and complaints and zoning issues and violations. I don't think we had any, did we? No, but those are items that can come before us. So that's why I just left it in. I don't think we had any. Um, and we had a um, I didn't put in there, but we have had a, um, and I don't know if we want to put it in here, but we can, I'll just throw it out there. We did have our, um, first ever board of health. Yeah. I don't know that we want to put that in there. I don't think we need to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll leave it out. So on, on the, on the list, the big long list. I, I didn't make it through the list, but it's really, really long. And I, I wonder if we would be better served to figure out like the mm, 10, uh, 50 to 20, that is not what I meant. Um, you know, what are the things that are, were really had an, had an impact because like some, at one point I got to a, a thing that I, it's like, I don't even know what we did. Um, so I think challenging ourselves, like receiving a favorable management letter, that's, that actually is important and we can punch that up a little bit, but some of the things are kind of, they're just what we do and people aren't gonna read the whole list if we make it too long. That's true, but I've had but I've had people ask, "What do you guys do? You don't do anything." <laughs> well, we could keep this long version and hand it out when they ask, but but how? What does this translate to in the select in the board report and we're in the town it just, report? It just goes in the town report as one of the reports, no. like all the other commissions and boards do. Right, but how many pages? Um. Usually Does any, three or four pages. Are we able to figure out at this point how many pages it might end up being? Does anybody have a sense of how a, a word page translates? Hi, I can I can address that. Uh, we're working with Laura and she makes room for pages. She does the pagination at the very end so we can put as much as we want. Although we do like reports to be brief, somewhat as brief as they can be because people do like just not read it if it gets too long. Yeah. Well, let's go but, through but, then and see which ones we might take out or move as Rose suggested. We can and also Judy, put this long version on the website. Yeah, I don't know that I, okay. yeah, I don't know we need to do that if I, we can just eliminate some of this stuff. So where did, how far did you get Sharon? I would just go with. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I was just editing to t reading to tighten up, not to, um, to remove. So, um, well, I, I think I can, these, if we, if we want to, if we want to go with the idea of putting a list on the website, I can, I can, I mean, you guys know my style of tightening things up. So I can do that after, if we want to focus our time now on, on what to eliminate for the town report. I would like to see whatever we put in the town report also be what we put on the website. So I would like okay. to see us go through this now if we if everybody's got some patience to just go through and 
make changes or eliminate things. So I would be fine with what you've done up to work with the road crew. Because that's all I can see right now. And I think those, and for my part, I think these are important things that, you know, these tell a story. Um, well, although do we want to tell the mower attachment story? Well, I think, I think people should be glad that we bought a tractor with an attachment to do our own roadside mowing. That's something that was a big topic of discussion over and over again for a couple of years about invasive species and when to mow and all that stuff. So it's, big... I'm sorry, you, this is really embarrassing, but it's a chipper where we have problems. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to talk about that. Okay. All right. Never mind. I get them confused. I know they do different jobs, but they're both new. They're okay. Never mind. They're both, That's pieces, where I of e they're both pieces of equipment, Sharon. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> and one chips. <laughs> yeah. One cuts it down. One chips it. And I, and I know that one of them we had problems with. I mean, right. come on. Yep. Yep. And I, I think this, I like, the, I like, I like keeping this one about working to improve environmental stewardship. Let's keep that one. Okay. So we're okay with these changes and we're okay with keeping these yep. five points in. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll move to the next batch. Okay. Wait, approve. Oh, wait, go back. Oh, approve many curve cut. We can take that one out. Yeah, that's boring. Yep. Yeah, I think so too. And the same one, and we can also do, we can also oh, eliminate the next three actually. Yep. All right, Sharon, you want to? Oh, yeah, you want me to do that, the honors on Flash those? Will. Yep. So curb cuts, boring, policies, boring, traffic ordinance, I'm not even boring. sure we did. Well, okay. we, we, we worked on it, but we never finished it. So yeah, so it doesn't deserve a front page. No. Okay. Um, um, I think infrastructure projects, so people realize when they see work being done around town that a lot of this is paid for by grants. Yep. I think we should keep that. Does it still read correctly? Approved projects? Oh, I no, think, it doesn't. Uh, a projects for, uh, no, it's I just think, approved no, just, various. Approve yeah. various highway and infrastructure projects and secured structure grants to provide cost savings to taxpayers for these projects. That's right, isn't it? Right. I think yes. we can, I think we can take off this for these projects at the end. I yeah, you we can as we read it now, and then there's certain people who will read it and say, wait, did we save money on these projects? What? But that's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, didn't we renew our emergency operations plan this year? I think we did. Um, yeah, because oh, you we, know what I was thinking? I was thinking the local hazard mitigation plan, which is different than the emergency operations plan. So yes. And I think that's good for people to know that that's always something we're looking at. Yep. So this one is boring. Obviously, we had to work with the, the I'm on EMFD funding, boring, right? Yeah, yeah, we can take it out. This is the one where I was like, I don't even know what this is that they want us. Well, I think, well, you know, though, I, I think people have asked, you know, how do we, I've had people say, well, what about East Montpelier Fire Department? And then I have to, I explain, you know, how we meet with them. No, Three no, times no, Denise. a year, oh, we I see. budget meeting, and then we meet with the East Montpelier Select Board to go over the East Montpelier Fire Department budget. So I don't know. You know, I think it's good for people to know that we're on. We are on top of it. We are aware because that's a big portion of our budget. I don't know if it's partnered, but collaborated. What's the matter with yeah. work with? Boring. Yeah, but so what? Collaborated. Yeah. Just looking for punchier verbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so this, so the one that I didn't understand in what is the thing is this broadband innovation grant. Like, what's the verb? Um, Cliff, is this in the IT section that we could just take it out? Um, it is not. 
or maybe we don't even need it because CV fiber. Well, is CV actually fiber changed. has its own report, so we could take this out. Okay. Good idea. Um, okay. Contracting so with Nemric is boring. Yeah, is why would anything... that need to be in there? Well, is there anything? I... I think it's good for people to know because people, you know, we used to use QuickBooks. Um, and I think it's good for people to understand that we're using an actual program um, that keeps track of our accounting. It's our accounting software. And also we contract with Nemric to do the monthly audit, which is different than the annual audit because we're required to have, you know, a town auditor. In the, according to our charter, mm -hmm. we're supposed to have this town auditor. Mm -hmm. So Nemric is fulfilling that function as well. Can we take out that we continue to support the integration? Are we starting to drift into boring? Well, I don't know. Some people might not find it boring. I guess if you're a number person, you might not. But I, I think that I think Sandra said that process is done. Judy, do you know for sure? We're, I mean, we're, it took a while to fully convert to Nemric, remember? Yeah, we're, we're, we're converted and it's pretty much routine at this point. Okay. So, so that is, that's an already, that's an, as a done thing, but I think it's good to say that we fulfill our, somehow we fulfill our responsibility to have a monthly audit using Nemric's staff or something. And, and that the board reviews monthly with the town treasurer where we're at. I mean, that's one of our biggest functions as a board is to be on top of the, on top of the finances. So I think we need to leave something in there. Yep. <clears throat> oh we do review the delinquent tax report we just yeah. don't always talk about it yep right no sam provides us those documents every month and those yeah you know and, what you could do is break it into two bullet points yep yeah, that might be better. Okay, you're going to say conducts monthly review. Well, I've been converting everything to past tense because we're talking about what we did in the past year. But it's ongoing. Well, we'll say that next year we'll say we conducted monthly reviews. Yeah, okay. this is a summary of things that occurred over the past year. So yeah, it would seem past tense is appropriate. Okay, and Rose, you wanted to move this management letter thing up somewhere. Um, no, it wasn't the management letter. It was- um, Painting of the town hall. Yeah, painting of the town hall and something COVID related. Okay, so we're not there yet. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna leave the uh, Sullivan and Powers one in. Um, I guess, could we, um, could we, before you do that, Sharon? Yep. We could, I wonder if we could, well, maybe it'll make the sentence too long, but we could combine, receive a favorable management letter with the maintained a healthy end of FY20 fund balance. I think it's important for people to know that we didn't have to take out a loan in um, anticipation of taxes because we budgeted well. I think that those, because of that, it actually deserves its own bullet. And I think we should flip that well, no, maintained a, maintained a healthy end of FY20 
fund balance and and avoid and we can we can take and out avoid the, it. There, yeah, thereby yeah, avoiding. The, take out the words allowing. Avoiding the town having to take avoided avoiding the, the need for the need oh, for there you go. and avoided the need for the town to take, take out a note. Take out take a, note. a note. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So you want to put this next one up under COVID, um, Rose? Which one are we on? Curtis Pond Swim Area? Yeah. I don't know if that flows now. I think we could just leave it where it's at because it really does, it's not, I mean, I think it's good for people to know that we had to do this last year in all of our COVID stuff that we did. Yeah. It wasn't, that, that section up above talking about COVID is really more dealing with the immediate actions that we took yeah. when the yeah. pandemic was first declared. So I think right. we can just leave that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Okay. On, on the Woodbury, Denise, this was you, right? Meeting with mm -hmm. Woodbury. Fun. Yep. So can we say, what can we say that's stronger than met? Can you say that you supported? Can you say that you assisted in the search? Well, we didn't really ever finish it. Um, well, oh, then boring, take it out. If nothing ever happened. Well, no, because people know that this was in the works. Is it still um, in the works? Well, we're waiting to see what happens if Woodbury voters approve the amount of money. I don't know. I don't really know what they're doing right now. They were, remember um, Chance said something about they didn't put this, they didn't ask Callis to put this on. They put the it all on the, the bond because they didn't ask us because, to participate. Can I, Cliff, could I finish? Sure. Um, Sounded like you cut they, off. <laughs> oh no, the ten, they they're just asking Woodbury right now to support the the building. I don't know that that's going to happen. Whether Woodbury voters will approve it or not. So it's still yeah. it's still in the works. It's not it's not it's not resolved. So would it be would it be overreaching to say supported Woodbury volunteer? fire department station committee in its search for a possible location for an expanded facility. Yeah, we can say that just to get it over with. Because we waited to the last minute to do this. All right, are we on historic preservation? Yep, I like that one and I like the purchased solar power, purchased and installed, right? Um, this, the, Alfred, the ones on Route 14, they're not gonna be able to be installed until spring, right? Yeah, I think I think that's correct. There's so much snow now and the ground's froze. I think we just, yes, I think we just- Just leave it. Leave it the way it is. We've got all the parts. We just it's a matter of digging holes in the ground and yeah. You're okay with leaving that? I mean process yep. is still ongoing. And this is the one you're talking about moving, Rose. Yes. If anybody else thinks it should go up where yep. you're talking about the town. Yeah, hall. it's fine. I, I don't care. Just move it. Yeah, I kind of had the same thought, Rose, when I thought saw it. I wonder if it would be better up above, but I'm okay with it either way.
Okay, are you gonna move that, Sharon? Or I just made a note so that we're not slowed down. Um, I think we can. I don't know. We could leave this one in or take oh. it out, but it's kind of give to give people the heads up that one of these times we're gonna have to bite the bullet and we're gonna have to hire an assessor. Did the listers put that in their report? I don't know what they put in their report. Do you know, Judy? I read it today. I don't believe they put this in there. Yeah. I know that they've been talking about this for a couple of years now, so. Mm -hmm. I say we just leave it in. Okay. We need a the in front of the future. Professional paid assessor in the future. And this, this is correct, Alfred? That the project is going to be well, shovel ready? No, the, the grant is for the engineering part, not the actual dirt work. So we don't want to say that it will be, sh well, is, is it going to be shovel ready in 21? No, because we don't have funds secured for it, for the actual work. We're just, we're just working on the engineering for it right now. And stormwater is one word. Okay, it was two, and so that's why I... Yeah, it's one word. I thought I fixed that, because I it came up on my spell check as one word. Um, so maybe we just take that last sentence out. So I know people are yeah, in, I know, I know people it's... know about, I know people have know about the project, because if you go to East Callis and talk to people, um, they know something's going on there. So oh, what yeah. is I mean, they, they totally know something, but I mean, we've dug test holes for the engineers and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. And that's what the grant is, is covering. It's only the engineering part. We still got so, to secure funds for the actual system installation. So we could just take off and we'll be shovel ready in 2021 and put a period after phase phase. That's what I was going to suggest. Yep. Yep. That I would take trainings out. I think that's boring. We could also take the renewed our contract with Jim Barlow out. That's kind of boring too, I guess. Yeah. And this one I would put again, like my note is move it higher. It's interesting. You know, it's, this isn't something we do every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just going to move it up. Yeah. Will you send this around to us so we can look at it when you're done tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, I think the Emerald yep. Ash Borer is on everybody's radar because remember we did that thing with um, Joanne Garten and they went around and identified ash trees and put yellow ribbons on them and Mm -hmm. all that so I think that's um, Okay, and then we actually do work on this one, I guess so, because we heard from people from CVRP. Oh, yeah. About this. yeah. 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 Okay, technology. Thank you, Cliff. I thought you did a nice job on writing this section. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody have any changes on that? I'll be back in two minutes. Uh, 
I just thought of something that I didn't mention here. Um, do we want to say? That? Do we want to say anything about um, the high speed inner? No, it's not a high speed, but it's a Wi Fi hotspot that we were able to get to uh, East Callis. Oh, you yeah. created that. Yeah, we um, we qualified for a um, program uh, that was available through the state. Um, some monies that had been made made available, I think, by Microsoft um, to install these uh, Wi-Fi hotspots, and we identified a need in East Callis and got one installed. So I could add a paragraph to that effect. I, yeah, I would. I would. That sounds really interesting and informative and that would make me happy. Katie, Katie has a note in the comments about coordinating with ECCT to make food available weekly for all community members on the porch of the store. I think the only thing we did is, is agree to plow if necessary, yeah. right? right. I, yeah. 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 I mean, Are you, I talking, just, about, I, you talking about the hot spot, Sharon? No, that's I just a, talked about the hotspot. I think I was the talking about everything the eats. The everything eats. Oh, program. that would be we should put that up by we should put that up further then if that's not technology. Is no, it but, still but ongoing we, or did it end? No, we got um the funding came through for start we'll be doing it starting it back up again. I told you this today on the twenty eighth, and it's for another, I think at least another four weeks. And we're oh. hoping that the legislature will fund it further. So that but, would be. But, that's but we didn't really do anything about it except agree no. to plow the driveway. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I feel like. I don't yeah. think it needs to go in here. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't take any credit for that. But Cliff but needs to put we, that paragraph about the hot spot. That we right. should, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was going to be at the town garage and there was opposition mm -hmm. to having it there. So um, the guy that we, and we got that as a grant, I believe. They did, that's did that correct. for free. I'll, I'll do a quick, um, that's what we were discussing when you stepped away, Denise. I was going to just add a quick line to this document for that. And didn't they, didn't they put another, and isn't, and the hot spot at the town office too, right? No, no. The, one at the town office was already there. Oh, okay. As well as the one at the uh, town hall. Right. Do they, do they, turn back on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, people pull into the parking area there in front of the store. I see them, you know, using the hotspot. So it's it's being used. Yep. Although Scott was telling me today that um, he thinks there might be a problem with it. So I recommended that he uh, talk with Jan who has access to where it's installed and reboot it. And if that doesn't work to call Justin and get him to take a look at it. Well, actually I have access too because it's in one of the apartments. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. If you're over there, you could try just unplugging it, plugging it back in. Yeah, sure okay. All the lights are green. Okay, we'll check it out. Okay. Okay, so we're almost done. You know what, maybe we could take out that bullet about working with um, the East Montpelier Select Board because it's kind of in here. Yeah, I would agree. I'll, I can do that. Okay, thank you. What about the, we, the one we could, of um, working with would, the Woodbury? Yep, we could take that out too because I put it in here. So we could take both of those bullets out. <clears throat> if everybody agrees. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think it's... it's, it's, it's 
we don't need it twice. More, more fully discussed in this section, both of those. Okay. Okay. And I put, I had Paul's name in here already. Um, so I think we just leave that. Yeah, he served during the year that we're discussing. Talking about. Yeah. And Alfred asked us to put in this reminder thing, which we have. Okay. So we're almost done. Okay. All right, so Sharon, you'll do you have time to do this so you can send it around tomorrow? I yep, like I'll send it around. I will send it around tonight. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Nice work. Thank you. Thank yep, you, Denise. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Yep. Good. Finally done. I'll wait till you send yours out, Sharon, and then I'll add the extra line about the um and who's gonna hotspot. Who's gonna who's gonna put in the lemon meringue pie? <laughs> Um, Cliff, how are you? I can, I can do it. Um, if we have the, we have the one from last year somewhere. If somebody gives me the numbers, it's, it's easy peasy. Or do you, Cliff, do you guys have those numbers or, or Cliff, if you have them, it's easy peasy. No, Cliff, I don't do you have, have time them. to, do you have time to do a pie chart? Um, I wouldn't be able to promise that I could do it this week. How soon do you need it, Judy, to put in the pie chart? You can leave a spot and we'll get it next edit. Okay. Alfred, did you have your hand up? Oh. Oh, okay. There's a little raised hand there. All right, great, thank you, yay. Good teamwork. Okay. Anything else on anything else on town town meeting stuff, Judy? I think we're good. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sitting through it. Sure. It was so exciting, right? It's <laughs> thrilling. Thrilling. <laughs> All right. Great. Thanks, Judy. I just wanted to um, I just wanted to um, let Judy know that um, the edits the changes on the appointed spreadsheet, appointed position spreadsheet. I touched base with Barbara today and um, you, you'll see an email tomorrow from Denise um, to approve all those changes that I made to it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if Rose wrote, Katie kind of took the first stab at it, but I'm grateful for Rose's continued input on it. And if she made some changes and we should incorporate those. Okay. Now. All right. And I nominate Rose to volunteer to upkeep that as the years <laughs> go by. <laughs> oh, uh, you're yes. so we'll, sweet. We'll be, so we'll be, sweet. I'll, I'll be calling Rose. Rose, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank so you. now we were looking to go into executive session. Um, to discuss personnel matters um, for one VSA section 313A3 and invite the road commissioner to join us. At 8.30. And that's a motion. Is there a second? I will, I will second. Okay, let's take a vote. Rose? Aye. I'm an aye. Sharon? Aye. Cliff? Aye. Okay, thank you so much, Katie. See you next week. Alfred to recruit and advertise for a full-time road crew person and to authorize him to recruit and fill a temporary 
road crew position. Does that get us what we need, Sharon? Mm -hmm. Well, we are authorizing. Yeah. Okay, so that doesn't need to be a motion, so I guess we don't need to vote on it, but I wanna make sure that it's clear in the record that you have that authority to do so. Okay. All right. Thank I'll you so much, closer. Alfred. Thank yeah. you so much. Keep us posted. Okay, we will do. Have a good night. Yeah, you Thanks too. Thank coffee. you. Good night. Good night. Good, good night, Alfred. Good night. Have a good night. You too. Thanks. All right. Would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. When's our next meeting? Monday. No. Oh. Next week. Uh, before we adjourn, there was one item that uh, came under um, uh, town meeting. Um, there was some equipment we were going to talk about possibly purchasing in advance of uh, town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, the question I would ask the board is how do we imagine conducting this informational hearing? Um, do we want to run it as a Zoom session, much like we're doing now where we're all at our separate locations, or do we want to look at the possibility of having the select board uh, socially distanced and uh, taking the proper precautions, all functioning from one um, boardroom, as it were, um, in this case, perhaps the, the town hall, along with the moderator. I would be more in favor of overall Zoom at this point with the increased surge and, and this new strain that's more contagious. I mean, I'll have had my shots. I said, it's like I'm a dog, I'm gonna have my shots. Um, I'll have had my shots then, but I'm not sure you know, how that works with carrying the virus to other people who may not have. Well, and the, the other thing is, um, if that's if that's possible in this context, then it's possible it's possible in many contexts that we that we meet distanced and broadcast our meeting to people who are interested. And we and I don't think we're we're ready to do that or that so so yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't make an exception for this. Maybe that's what Denise is saying too. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I'm saying. I would, I just want to, I want to follow the same protocol we're currently mm -hmm. instituting. Mm -hmm. um, do we, I mean, do people have a sense? Do you think we'll have a bigger turnout or moderate? I mean, I've been on Zoom things where there's been like 70 or 80 people. I think it's going to be really challenging because most Zoom setups and screens won't even accommodate that many people. So I, I assume, Cliff, that that there's, you know, we've that VLCT is recommending what certain licenses or certain ways of moderating. We're going to have it's going <laughs> to it's going to be a lot of you're on mute. We can't hear you. You're breaking up. But yeah, yeah. the scale, Denise, and how many people? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's something you raise a good point, Cliff, that we should talk about how we're going to do this. If Gus is if Gus is moderating, we can all be helping. I want to learn. I want to learn how to drive pretty soon here. Um, yeah, and this is this is why I'm asking the question because I need to start thinking about what we have to do with our technology, depending upon how we we uh, conduct this meeting. Are and we going to have to buy? Think, are we going to have to buy stuff, Cliff? Well, for example, if we met um, as a group to conduct this meeting, there would be definitely some technical, um, some equipment that we would need to purchase. If we're going to do it in the method that we're conducting meetings currently, then uh, we will add um, at least one additional um, license. There's also other possibilities of how we are going to allow people to attend the meeting um, and participate that might dictate uh, additional licensing or capacity that we have to purchase 
uh, for additional attendees. So how I think, long? Yeah. So, so how long? I mean, it's. I could imagine right now getting actual pieces of equipment might be hard because everybody's thinking kind of the same thing. But if it's just buying licenses, that licenses should that are, should. Licenses are easier, but yeah, if we have to buy hardware. And that's why I want to get the question out in front of the board tonight, because if we do agree to a format that requires we purchase hardware, we would want to get those orders in ASAP. Yeah, so I think what you're and, hearing is. Eh. Well, and even if even if we're not even if we're not. The other the well, so many things in my head right now. The other, another point about meeting in a room is that would be entirely new to us as a format, whereas Zoom isn't completely new. Um, even in a Zoom context, though, we should have a logistics meeting because yes. right. uh, we're not, we're not going to want to have an active chat where people can chat with each other throughout the meeting. We're going to want, right? I mean, we're going to want to have um, a format that is raise your hand. We're going to want to have a monitor moderator and Denise I don't think you need to drive I think some one person drives and no, I'm just talking and, about in general yeah and somebody um somebody is moderating the hands and and then you know we should just be thinking about okay exactly what else what are we not even thinking of and how is that going to work because it'll be it'll be messy understatement if we have an active chat, it'll be messy if we haven't thought through exactly, maybe even do a dry run. I think you said that earlier, Cliff. Yes, I would strongly yeah. recommend that. And yeah, the other thing is, is maybe VLCT is gonna be coming forward with recommendations, but right now I'm not seeing them step deeply into those waters. Mm -hmm. They're just saying, mm -hmm. well, you could have the Australian ballot, you know, the legislative branches authorized <laughs> to do that and things like this, but the actual brass tacks of how you're going to conduct it and how it's going to be formatted. They're not really given any recommendations right now. So I've been on a, I've been on a couple of VLCT events. And what I meant before was they have somebody who's, you know, doing the front seat driving and then they have back seat drivers who aren't maybe necessarily driving, but what they're doing is they're seeing and I don't know how they do this, but somehow they see somebody who wants to ask a question and they write their name down. And then they, and then there's a couple of people doing that. Yeah. Um, and then they take turns saying, okay, who's next? Who's next? That's what I'm right. kind of envisioning is maybe that is something we should think about. Well, and that's when I refer to the role of a moderator, that's in, in, in these kinds of formats, that's, that's the role of a moderator so that Gus's, Gus's job becomes just to listen to the person who is speaking, assess whether they are um, on topic or whatever the phrase is I'm forgetting, um, you know, gently cut off as appropriate. And, and he, he's not doing the scanning the room. That's, right. that's what the other that's what folks- I'm That's what I'm right. suggesting. If there's several of us who are kind of doing the scanning hands up kind of thing and then the, the moderator gus would say you know who's next and one of us would say so and so's got their hand up kind of thing mm -hmm. that's kind of the way i'm looking at it and that's what i've I, experienced on some other calls that there was a lot of people exactly and i think we're also going to we're going to want to have um, once we're going to have to figure this out in advance, and then we're probably going to, we're going to need maybe written instructions that go out on front porch forum. We're going to have to encourage people to get familiar with Zoom before the meeting. Um, we're going to want to start our meeting with, with um, again, instructions. This is how it works. Coaching, maybe 10, maybe it's, it's half an hour before the meeting starts. You can get on and and get familiar with Zoom and somebody's there just saying, this is how you do it. No, 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 lower left. You see that little microphone? Can you get your cursor over there? Could you unclick it? Um, you know. Um, yeah, I think there's I worry some we're stuff gonna like have that a lot to look of, out. 
I think there's going to be a lot. I worry that there's going to be a lot of people who aren't familiar with it. Hmm. And the nice, th the nice thing is, is it will be recorded, which is nice for people who maybe can't attend the Zoom and want to listen to it later, but it doesn't give them an opportunity to ask any questions. Hmm. But, you know, this is all, all new. So um, I had a thought. I, yeah, go ahead, Rose. Um, I was wondering, just as far as trying to gauge how many people might attend, um, would it be worth it just to do like on front porch form, like one of those survey monkeys? Um, do you have any intention of um, hmm. participating in the informational meeting on February 20th, yes or no? You know, I don't know if that would help Cliff as far as how many licenses or anything like that, but that was just yeah, a you could, you could, We could also ask the question, have you ever used Zoom to participate in a, in a meeting? You know, you could ask one, three, three questions. We could also thought. utilize the dry run as an opportunity to educate people who might not be familiar with the tool. Hey, we're going to be doing a practice run and it would be helpful yeah. if we had people attending and it's your opportunity to familiarize yourself with this tool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we could post something on Front Porch Forum a couple of times before the we would want to do it. The informational meeting is February 20th, so yeah, we could try that. That's a good idea. Yep. I don't know how to do Survey Monkey, but I just was thinking I, of that. Cliff, yeah. does that matter, like how many participants there are? Like if you knew in um, advance right there now, were 200 Right people. now, I believe our license currently allows up to 100 participants. Oh. Um, so my thought was is that we would definitely want to purchase some additional capacity based like on 100? historical um, participation at the live meetings. So I was thinking, I think it, you can buy them in lots of 100 or you mm -hmm. can buy them in lots of 500. So I was going to look at the pricing. If it wasn't a huge pricing difference, then I would just go ahead and opt to bump it up. Can can we buy like, a, is it a one-time license or do we have to keep paying for it for a year? No, you can buy it as a, as a one-time thing, but I don't know if it if it's for a year or if it's just for a month that I have to investigate. Okay, so you're gonna you're willing to do all that legwork? Like, yeah, yeah, but that's or, why or I wanted to have this conversation at night because I was imagining work. different ways. Exactly. Yeah. I was imagining different ways that this meeting could roll out, and what options I needed to investigate would be determined by the the format that we imagined this happening in. Okay, so when you want to talk about it again, let me know so we can put it on a, an agenda, or I can just put it on the agenda as an ongoing item for now and we'll figure it out. Yep. Okay. All right. I feel this right now just comes under um, our IT portion of the agenda. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds good. So, and um, what is this the big, is this the big thing that's still on the list for being ready for town meeting? We've approved the warning. We've basically approved the select board report. We've done the budget. The biggest, the biggest two things are the budget and the warning. So don't forget. Right. So don't forget to be looking for an email from Judy um, to stop by the town office and sign the warning. Right. And okay. then the pie. The pie. If Cliff's doing all this Zoom stuff, can you do the pie? Yeah, no, I can do the pie. Cliff said he couldn't do it this week, and Judy said that's fine. So that's right where I am. Um, but yeah, I can definitely do a pie. Okay, great. All right. Are we ready to adjourn? I think, I think so. so. All righty. Very good. Can Cliff, you're going to make a motion, or Sharon, or Denise? I so I will make a, I, and I will second it. Okay, you ready to vote? Rose? Aye. I'm an aye. Sharon? Aye. Cliff? Aye. All right, can you um unhook, unleash Orca? Yep, hang on. Bye Orca, thank you. Bye Orca, bye Jerome, we miss you.